Hi everyone. Welcome to CG Artist Academy. First I want to thank my all viewers and subscribers who spend their valuable time here on my YouTube channel. So thanks a lot guys. And guys, today I'm going to show you how to render animation or sequence rendering blender. I'm going to show you with my existing scene. So, I'm going to open it. This is the scene. I created some 360 degree camera animation on this scene. Like you can see from here to here. Okay? It's pretty easy to create this type of animation. So, my animation is ready and I'm going to render it in a sequence or I can say animation. So, go to your render settings okay make sure you are in cycles render now go to this dimension tab and uh, here you can select your resolution in my case it's 1920 1080 and here you can see frame range my animation is from 1 frame to 146 frame so i have put it here okay frame rate this frame rate it's like 24 fps you can select by on your own according to your project okay now all these settings are placed so you can go to your output like here select your path I have already selected okay okay now you can go here and select like I selected sequencer and accept and here this is what type of format you are going to render okay for this i am using png you can use any zapag taga bitmap anything and for large formats you can use tiff sequence open exr okay so the question is why i am using image sequence for my rendering the answer is if I am going to render this MO formats and in middle of uh, rendering my file get crashed or system get shut down or anything happen, I have to render it again from frame 1 but in the case and in sequence animation, sequence rendering, the last frame rendered or uh, you can continue from your last frame. For an example, if my file get crashed on frame number 129 then I can reopen my file and start ending from 130 but in movie format you cannot do that you have to render from the beginning right so it's easy and good to render always in an image sequence your animation okay now almost everything is set up now and I have selected my samples for with I am using just 50 samples just for the tutorial okay so everything is done now so I am going to hit render but before that you can select your device for faster rendering you can select GPU and if you don't have GPU then you can render with your CPU rendering procedure okay so I am going to render it click on animation and you can see my rendering is already started okay so wait for a while I'll be back when my rendering is completed so now my animation is finished now guys and I can see in my sequence folder the whole animation the sequence from 1 to 144 so now you can create a MOV with this sequence using Blender or any other compositing software like After Effects. Okay, guys. Now I'm gonna show you another option to render your animation sequence with the help of a new software called RenderBox Advanced Rendering Manager, which is provided by Rajiv Sharma, Technical Director, and you can download it from its websites, its official website technical director dot in slash render box and the downloading is in description below once you have downloaded this software 
and installed it properly you can see this type of uh, UI of the software which has some pretty awesome features like job manager in which you can track your rendering data and I'm going to show you how can you do that so let's back to blender like our previous settings which we have already entered our frame range our resolution size everything okay when you have installed this you can see it in your user preferences in the add-on tab just like this render box you can see here enable it and you will get the new tab of render box in your render settings like this which have some options here like the start frame and frame job description output path and render box submit job by default it saves the render in its default folder which you can change from here go to window preference configuration and you can change the path from here I'm not going to change in this video you can do it by it on your own so everything is done now and I'm going to send my render job click on that and you will get that notification your file sent to render box click OK and go to your render box then click on job manager and you can see your blender file is already here which is which is in queue and I'm going to start a trainer by clicking right click on this uh, notification and uh, the start once you have started now the rendering is starting and the main thing is or I can say the benefit of this rendering manager is now you can save your blender file and close it we don't need to open our blender file to render this scene now it's in it's already rendering by the software and the benefit is now I can do uh, other stuff to uh, save my time while my rendering is in process so this is just for the demonstration purpose guys so I am going to stop it so now I am going to show you some cool features of the software now right click on this tab and you can preview your animation sequence so I'm going to see it how it looks okay so here are my image sequence which I can see how many sequence rendered okay it's pretty awesome second thing is I can open my folder my um, destination folder where my renders are saving sequence render are saving you can see third thing is I can open existing file which is render directly from here like click on open scene you can see my blender file is open now so it has some quite some quick features and which you can use and I recommend you to use the software and test by it yourself now I am going to remove my job from here click remove and again I am going to open my blender to show you how to make a movie from your sequence renders like we did earlier so go to your uh, video editing mode click on this add menu image and here is my sequence and press A two times to select all the sequence and click on accept image stripe here is my stripe loaded in video editing mode drag it over here from frame 1 and now you can see my render sequence is loaded here once you have loaded this sequence go back to your uh, default mode and go to your render settings again and make some few changes so go to your output 
and file format to MOV whichever you like whichever format you like I'm going to use S264 and I'm going to name my MOV which is shoe animation accept it and make sure in the post processing these two features are enabled compositing and sequencer okay so now it's all done so the last thing I need have to do is click on animation or you can send again to render box which also make the MOV but I'm going to show you the render feature now click on animation and you can see my animation is rendering now in a movie so it's very easy I hope you find some good details in my tutorial and I'm happy to show these details and share these details with you so my rendering is done now animation of my shoe in a movie and I'm going to see it my animation oh yeah it's here now so I'm going to open it VLC player you can see my whole animation is done now I hope you find this tutorial helpful guys and thank you thank you so much for your support and I'm trying to Im improve my tutorials for you guys I hope you will subscribe and like my youtube channel thank you guys thank you really thank you so much goodbye